The former Bemidji Middle School assistant principal charged with describing sexual conduct with minors on social media accounts pleaded not guilty in court today. As Mel Meyer reports, while Brandon Bjorkness's position within the school district has ended, his legal battle has just begun. Before his uncontested omnibus hearing, 34-year-old Brandon Bjorkness declined to comment on the charges against him. Not right now. During the hearing, Bjorkness pleaded not guilty to the two felony charges of engaging or relating sexual conduct with a child. This means the case will now head to trial. Any comment on the, this going to trial at all? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, start with the fact that he's presumed innocent, okay? There's more to this story than you've reported. Let's leave it at that, okay? His attorney, Peter Wald, declined to elaborate. Wald has represented other notable cases, including allegations of sexual assault against former Minnesota Vikings running back Adrian Peterson and inappropriate conduct by a Minneapolis archbishop. In an email with Lakeland News, Beltrami County Attorney Chief Assistant David Frank confirms that while the investigation is still ongoing, that he anticipates more charges with different victims in separate behavioral incidents. But Bjorkness will no longer be employed by the district as the investigation continues. Since the charges were brought against Bjorkness on March 24th, the district had put him on administrative leave. During the Bemidji School District meeting tonight, the board quietly accepted his resignation. So I would like to hear a motion, please, of the, of, um, to approve the agenda. As I'll make that motion. Thank you. And a second? I'll second. Thank you. The district says that the current substitute will likely fill that position until the end of the year. During this spring, we will um, advertise that position and we'll have a search uh, for a replacement. In Bemidji, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. A pretrial hearing at the Beltrami County Courthouse is set for May 17th. A three-day trial is tentatively set to begin the next week on May 22nd. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.